Are you considering moving to Charlotte, North Carolina? Let me tell you some things to think about before you make the move to Charlotte. We've been living in Charlotte for so many years now, having come from Los Angeles, California, and there are things that I really love about the city and seven things that I don't like about Charlotte. I won't say the word hate because that's too strong of a word. Some of the things that I will be talking about have their pros and cons, but the, this last one is something that I absolutely can't stand. You will know what I'm talking about if you watch until the end. You'll be shocked by this thing that I do not love about Charlotte. So stay tuned, it's coming right after this. Hi everyone, my name is Len Alvarez, your realtor in the Charlotte area. Our channel is about living in Charlotte, moving to Charlotte, discovering different communities and lifestyle. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing below so you won't miss any of the new content we publish every week about living in Charlotte and the surrounding areas. If you are already subscribed, Thank you for your continued support. Allergy season in North Carolina, specifically here in Charlotte, can be terrible. As soon as you hear daylight savings time is just around the corner, you better run to a drugstore and stock up on antihistamines and take them before you start sneezing like crazy. The most intense allergens for the months of April to May are pollen coming from our many trees. It doesn't end there. From June to September, you will still need your allergy meds because of pollen producing grasses and weeds. Phew, allergy sufferers beware. Have you seen these big piles of dirt? Well, you can see red clay everywhere in North Carolina, especially in the Charlotte area, due to the insane number of new homes under construction everywhere. I like to grow my own vegetables and have an herb garden in my backyard so I don't have to run to the grocery store if I need them, but I can't stand trying to grow in red clay. I prefer the fertile black soil that I was used to when living in California. After some research, I found out that red clay actually has some redeeming qualities and will allow me to have the garden of my dreams. The small clay particles retain water and nutrients and when amended correctly, clay provides a great way for plants to absorb water and nutrients. For more than 300 years, North Carolina has been thick with bricks thanks to the abundance of raw material, native red clay. During the post-World War II building boom, North Carolina was the brick capital of the nation, producing more than any other state. Today, North Carolina remains strong in brick making and ranks number two behind Texas. Charlotte is growing so fast that at every corner you turn, you'll see new construction, whether it's a new community of single-family homes, apartments, or commercial buildings. Is this a sign of progress or a sign of overcrowding in the years to come? You'll find signs of construction in uptown Charlotte as well as the suburbs. Construction workers on the street, on top of buildings and orange cones or dumpsters lining neighborhood streets. And it's not just these ugly sights you'll see, but you may experience the lovely incessant round-the-clock noise of trucks beeping, power saws buzzing, hammers pounding, crane trucks clanking, and loud music from the workers' boombox. And oh, the construction trucks blocking your path so you have to wait to pass through. If you just moved to a new community where there is construction in progress, I can imagine how much hassle new residents are enduring with the noise, inconvenience, and don't forget the hazard of driving on a gravel road. There's a good chance that you will 
get a nail in your tire or tiny rocks will hit your car. And you also need to wash your car more often than usual because of all the construction dirt drifting around. When my husband and I drive around the area and we see more apartments are building or we see new communities are coming soon, we just wonder where the people to occupy these apartments and houses are coming from. Well, to answer my own question, it's reported that over 100 people a day are moving to Charlotte. Charlotte actually is one of the top five cities with big inbound moves in 2020. This may sound ironic, but one of the reasons why many people are attracted to Charlotte, North Carolina is because of its four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. But I don't like the summer months here which are generally hot and have an average humidity level of 70.6%. You may just come out of a fresh shower and you're already sweating. July is the hottest month in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it can be really muggy, especially in the middle of the month when both the humidity and temperature reach their peak in the 90s. Although July is the hottest month, it's also the wettest month of the year. The highest temperature recorded was 104 degrees Fahrenheit in 2012 and 2007. Some people say we have a bipolar weather as the climate can change drastically from the beastly heat to a torrential rain. Yes, it snows in Charlotte, but snowstorms are very mild and do not last very long. The average annual snowfall in Charlotte is 2.3 inches, while the average in the United States is 27.8 inches. As in many cities, summers in Charlotte are not very desirable. I find spring and fall are the best seasons. You're going to love the beautiful flowers in the spring and the famous crepe murals that are in full bloom in the summer. In the fall, you will love the stunning change of colors of our three leaves. And by the way, Charlotte area is about three and a half hours from the Atlantic Ocean, so you shouldn't worry about getting hit by hurricanes. Charlotte ranks the ninth worst city in the country for mosquitoes, according to pest control specialist Orkin. Mosquitoes love warm and humid places, so certainly Charlotte has a lot of these pesky insects that are mostly active during the summer months. Places with lots of flowering vegetation and stagnant water are their breeding grounds. June to August are the prime months for mosquito activity, but the mosquito season can begin as early as April when the temperatures are warmer. Our old house in a suburb of Charlotte had big trees providing shade for some fun activities, but at the same time, the backyard became a dreaded area for me to go out and do some gardening. I'd keep mosquito spray handy just in case I needed some protection beyond wearing a long sleeve shirt and pants. Traffic congestion can be scary for people commuting to work, especially during rush hours. The most dreaded freeway in the Charlotte area is I-77. Rush hour traffic is not usually at a standstill but can be bumper to bumper. Things got a little better after the construction of the 26-mile I-77 express lanes, but despite the new lanes, there's still traffic on I-77 and it can even pour onto the side streets. A one-car accident can derail your day because most back roads here have only one lane in each direction. Charlotte ranked 54th in the United States and 358th in the world for traffic congestion, with each drivers spending an average 20 hours a week on the road at peak periods. I don't like to use the word hate, but this is a topic that I will not be hesitant to say, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. You probably have heard people say that Charlotte has a good public school system, right? Well, yes and no. Great schools if you live in a good neighborhood where the home values are at least $500,000. The public schools are usually very good, although there are also high-end neighborhoods in Charlotte with schools rated 5 or less on greatschools.org. If you have money, you can 
send your child to a private school if you want. But if you live in a crappy neighborhood, chances are you're out of luck and the schools assigned to your area are rated five or less. The education of your child is defined by the value of your home, which really is not fair. Bear in mind that the city of Charlotte's population is almost 900,000 with 73 zip codes. And if you are new to Charlotte, it is very hard for you to know which zip codes have great schools. This is what I have observed about CMS or Charlotte Mecklenburg schools and only for the city of Charlotte. However, there are some exceptions. For example, the cities of Cornelius and Huntersville in Lake Norman are also in the CMS system because they are in Mecklenburg County. The schools assigned to these cities are great and home values have nothing to do with the school assignments. Other counties near Mecklenburg, such as Union County, have great schools. Union County is where you'll find the cities of Weddington, Marvin, Waxo, and Wesley Chapel. If you're planning to look for homes in Lincoln County, the cities of Denver and Sherrilsford are guaranteed to have great schools. Before you make a decision to purchase a home here in Charlotte, do your own research or consult with a realtor who is knowledgeable about the area and the schools that are assigned to that city. Sorry if I'm the bearer of bad news. I just don't want you to be misguided because education is very likely the number one priority for parents of school-aged children. Just let me know if you are thinking of moving to Charlotte. We will help you locate the best schools in the area. After hearing these cons about Charlotte, I hope you are not discouraged in considering a move to Charlotte, North Carolina. My husband and I work as a team, so we will guide you along the way. There are actually more pros in living in Charlotte than the cons. Did you find this information helpful before you consider moving to Charlotte? Do you want to know the best schools in Charlotte? If you are already living in Charlotte, leave a comment below about your experience and if you are thinking of moving to Charlotte and have a lot of questions, you can call or text me at 704-975-2429 or you can email me at len at lenalvarez.com. If you like this video and you find some good information about living in Charlotte, please like, leave a comment, and share with your family and friends. Here are a couple of videos you can watch about Charlotte. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please click on our photo. Ring the bell if you want to get notified each time we release a new video. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video.